Hi and welcome back to another video. Right, so work's mad, life's mad, um, and I really want to crack on with this 89 at the same time. So when I get my, a bit of time in daylight, I try and do a bit on my clubman, and I've been battling for the last few months just to get home to get half an hour on in the garage without you know, annoying your neighbours. You have got to be considerate. Um, angle grinders and drills, they do make a lot of noise, your kids on the street, etc. Um, so please be considerate of that if you're doing this sort of thing at home as well. You have got to take into account that you're not the only person on the street. That being said, I've got half an hour, so let's see what I can get done. If you remember, probably I think November, I got a whiteboard and I've written down some jobs. Mainly I did it for the budget club and build, so everyone can follow along with that. But I also did it so I could list a bit of the 89 as well and like jobs to come and keep my head going where I need to be. One of which, I don't know if any of you remember, is to sort out these inner wings. Now there's still the basically top edge of the wing left there, we've got a shock tower to repair, and I want to get the inner wings basically ready for the front end because this is stuff I can do where we don't need to spend money on panels just yet. Um, I'm really getting a bit concerned that this car is just sat so much in the damp and it is, it is bugging me a little bit, but there's not a lot we can do about it. This is the only garage I've got, do you know what I mean? It's, it's got, you've got to just do your best you can. So it gets sheeted over, um, yeah, you, you, I can't do a lot more than that. So I just really, really want to get on with this. I want to get it to the point where, you know, obviously we're waiting for panels, but at least if I've got nothing else I can do, I don't feel bad for not working on it. Um, my other half is desperate to get this car back on the road. I'm desperate to see her back in it because this is her pride and joy. You know, as much as cars are cars to some people, cars really do have a connection with, you know, and this was her first car. This does mean a great deal to us, this car, along with the sidewalk, they're both, you know, there are cars, if you know what I mean, and we really want to see them back on the road together. That being said, this 89 has took its toll. Um, financially, it's drained, and you've got to bear that in mind. You know, your deadlines get pushed way out of the water, and you know, we've got a car to build, then we've got a car to paint, then we've got an engine to build, an interior to sort. You know, it's, <laughs> you have got to know when to stop. So, and to pace yourself with it, otherwise you're just not gonna be happy if you're rushing the end product, just to try and get the panels in. So, that being said, let's flip around and have a look. Um, I'll probably have to do this video over a few nights, so do bear with me, but I do really wanna try and get at least this side, which is the side closest to me and the camera, and try and get this wing off. This is the shock, I've got to replace, repair the shock tower, um, or the mount behind the mount. It's a notorious rock point because there's your bulkhead, your inner wing, and then you've got your shock mount against it. It's three pieces of metal sandwiched. So once your shock mount's off, you've got two pieces of metal that have normally sweated and just rotted out. Um, I didn't document it, it's before I started my channel, but I have already done the driver's side. So I might try and drop a picture in on that so you can see the sort of finish that I got on it. So I've basically got to do the same again. But what's got me really geared up to doing this is Jimmy, a good friend, has gone up to mini spares and saved me spending quite a bit of money on just postage. He's managed to pick me up the new, basically, the, um, the little blocks, basically, where the, the shock tower screws into. I don't, can't remember the quick name, correct name for them. But this one's really poorly, this side. One of them's bolts are snapped in it. Try drilling it, it's not coming out. So I'm going to try and fathom out how to replace it and get that off. But right now, I'm going to try and clean back the wing. I'm going to try and get the rest of this top wing off, and we'll go from there. So let's have a look at the damage and what we've got to work with. Right, so the flitch panel's all new. You can sort of roughly see where it went in there. All that's done. I've repaired the top bit. I've not quite finished it because I need to make a little piece because it was completely gone on that dash rail there. So I'm gonna make a little piece to go in there. Then obviously we've got a scuttle panel to go in. But my main aim is I wanna try and sort this out, which is that panel I just explained where it all rots out and you know rots away. I think somewhere, yes I do, there, Still attached to the shock absorber is the mount that came off it and it's completely rotted out completely gone so we're just buying new ones of these there's no point trying to repair that you can repair it but for the sake of it let's just get new ones you can buy a pair with all new pins bushes stainless nuts everything for like 30 quid so no point going this far and throwing that back on so moving on from that there's the rest of the front end here i might might adopt the approach that Keith Miller had a classic mini workshop where it's not bad this side, it's not, you can't feel any corrosion on this side of it, but this is obviously where the front panel loops around and I, I might either try and get it off, I'll try and get it off or just cut that out and put a whole fresh bit in and then I know when I put my front end on that I've got a good, you know, good solid place. Obviously you can see this is not original. Um, the previous owners to this car from over half had it, did put a front end on it and then had a bump 
So, yeah, I'll show you that in a minute because we've actually got the rest of the front end off on the wall. There's a bit of wall art at the moment or work in progress wall art. But yeah, so this front end was actually bashed. So my intention is really, I might just cut that all the way down there, take this off, and I might, I don't know, I just put a piece back in. We'll see how it is. We're gonna get the wire, the wire wheel out and the, the nylon wheel and just see how we get on really. But the rest of it, you know, that's, that's service for us. I'm hoping it's gonna clean up. I used to do a similar thing with my sidewalk. I had to clean all this back. And this is obviously the top edge of the wing. So we'll get all this clean back and we can crack on then. If I can get all of this off, and all of that done there, then we've just got this main repair to do. So that's the plan. Right, let's have a look at the front. Right, so you can see the front's actually bent. So ever since I've known this car anyway, and ever since she's had the car, the, the indicator's sort of been pointing this way a little bit. It's had a very light bump sort of here, and you can see all the filler and the, the, the rubbish that was in it. Um, the, the wing itself has it's had filler put there, and ever since I've known the car, like I say, it's had a grey wing, which has always been a bit of a trademark, really. But you can see, again, accent damage, and it's bent, and obviously this side of it's, it's rotted again, which is just a shame, but I don't know how the, the method of them doing it was and how good it was, so that's sort of why I want to try and repair that inner wing as best I can. So let's crack on, let's get some tools out. Right, so if you thought that was a bit of a weird way of getting it off, there's not actually spot welds here, and it's exactly what I thought. They're plug welded on. So it's a bit difficult to try and draw the welds out. So, and I really don't want to damage this ledge, obviously. So what I've done is I've sanded the tops of them off enough so I can peel it away, and it's slowly working. But you can see the rust. So they've clearly put this over the top of just bare steel, or put no seam to the other side. Now, although, some people may see my methods as putting paint between all these surfaces a bit much, but if you just put some zinc primer between this and your wing and your inner wing, you're not gonna have this issue again. And I don't get why people don't do it. So I'm gonna continue to get this off and that'll be one job done. Right, so you can see I've managed to get it off now. You can see where the plug welds were and how rusty it is underneath that seam. So I've got my little trusty belt sander down there, so I'm now going to go all the way up this and clean all this back. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get with that. And then I'm going to remove these little bits down here, like I said, and investigate that. Basically, I want to investigate the wing and then I'll know what I've got to repair. So I've just seen a small hole. It looks like a hole punch hole, it's a bit weird. Um, and there, so I'm gonna have to possibly put a bit of copper under there maybe, and like a piece of copper underneath that section and there's weld to it. So, but once I get all this off and all this sealant, I know what I'm doing with, dealing with, sorry. And then if all this proves to be pretty solid under here, which I don't think it will, or I won't be comfortable putting a new front end on it. So I might cut this back. And I think you can buy a repair panel for that, but obviously, we're probably good at making it. And then, obviously, this is the thing that we massively know about that we've got to deal with. Right, fortunately, that's all I've got time for in this episode. Um, basically, got a rundown of what I need to do on this wing. I've managed to get this whole ledge along here, basically free of the old wing. You can see I've sort of started scratching away at it a little bit just to make sure that, you know, we're not wasting our time here and we really do need to start again and place it in a wing. But no, it's perfectly saveable. I did this this repair on the other side. I haven't yet taken the wing off, top of the wing off that side. But there's a few areas that I'm gonna hammer and dolly it. I think that's the best method. And then I'm gonna put a bit of copper under and just build build up any little corroded bits really. It's perfectly good to go again. It's a really good sort of solid wing still. Um, the impact that I showed you on that front panel, it doesn't appear to have bent the wing. I was looking along here in this area. I'll show you. I was looking around there in that area because I don't know if you remember on the Budget Clubman, that's got a very minor split in it and I welded that back up. So, but this one, there's, there's no split or anything like that. It merely is this damage here that's the worst bit. So we'll carry on with this. Next episode, we're 
carry on with this, get this clean back. What I want to do is try and get everything cut out that needs to be cut out and then get the welder out. So I'm not, in my short time I do have, keep packing up, packing, you know, you know it's like do, do a whole of one job before you start the next one. So if I can get everything cut out, clean back, so I get all this clean back, any holes that needed needs to be welded ready. Get this front bit here, trim back and cut back if it needs to be, and a section made if need be. And then what I'll do is I'll get the cutter out in the next sec next episode, and I'll show you basically the few layers that are in there. There's a few videos that cover this, and like I said, I really do wish that I started my channel before because I did. I was really shocked with the job I've done that side. Um, <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I paint cavities. So I'll cut out both skins. I'll make both skins, but before I weld anything to the car. I will paint all inside the car in in a colour and have actually used Nightfire Red on the other side because a bit of OCD maybe. So this is what's come off, this raggedy bit of wing that's left, so that's fit for the bend. There's been no primer, there's been no prep to this whatsoever, so no one knew it didn't last, is there? So we'll crack, crack on with that in the next episode. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because you know, obviously we have got both these builds going on. It'd be really nice to share this with you guys. And yeah, hit that thumbs up. Comment below if there's anything you want to know. And catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.